We've got a rat shoot with an air arms expert. We have the launch of the new BSA Ultra XL. We have air streaming. We have hot air air gun news. Welcome to Airheads. Today is a very special occasion. Not only are we rat shooting with shooting ground manager and pest controller Paul Hodson for the first time, but it's also his 50th birthday. Fanfare, please. He could be enjoying a candlelit dinner, a weekend at the castle in Capri, or let's be honest, anything except ratting Ooh, with us. I hate rats. Before the birthday rat bash, Paul is going to talk us through his setup and why for him it's the best tool for the job. So tonight we're going to use the S510. Uh, as you can see from uh, this example that I've got here, which is uh, a beautifully crafted gun, it just feels a, a proper hunting rifle. So. When you look down the barrel through the scope, you can see a clear picture. The cheek on the comb of the gun is absolutely perfectly in line. So whoever did the homework in designing it has really done a great job. But the nice thing I like about this rifle more than anything is the speed in which it cocks. Because if we have a look on this side, to the cocking side of the gun, we have the cocking lever, which is absolutely exquisite. The way it, it, it just works, this particular 510 is in 177, which is my preferred calibre. Um, there's a big debate whether or not 177 is better than 22, or whether 22 is better than 177. For me, I prefer accuracy over stopping power. And I think if I put the shot in the right place with a 177, it's as effective over a longer distance than the 22 is. It's a faster shooting pellet than, than, than the 22 and less of a lob. So I know that if I can zero my rifle between 15 and 25, 30 yards, my point of impact really doesn't change that much. There's no need, especially at night when it's difficult to judge holdover on, on distances because it's incredibly difficult to, to, to judge that when using night vision. Whether or not to hold over, if you take that out of the equation, with 177, it's just point and shoot. I've got a target board set up out there at 30 yards just for me to make sure that the rifle's set up and ready for tonight. What I'm going to do then is move the target board closer to us. If I move the target board closer to us, I'll still see if it's shooting at the same point of aim. If not, then I might have to adjust the scope. I doubt it, but I just want to check that. Yeah, that's it. Spot on. So that's 35, uh, sorry, 30 yards. 25 yards, I'll bring another five yards and I'm going to be happy with that because that is exactly where I want it to be. Happy with that. And I think that clearly shows that the rifle is shooting completely flat now from 30 yards down to 15 yards. So tonight we can shoot at anything and we know that it's going to be absolutely bob on. With the rifle bang on, we head over to the potato farm, which is meant to be alive with rats. Over the years, Paul has honed his nighttime pest control shooting kit from filters to thermal to beer mats. I use beer mats when I'm out shooting for several reasons. One, they're incredibly good at soaking up moisture. That's what they're designed for. But I also use them as cushions, so when I'm putting something down at night, it doesn't make a noise, scaring whether it's a f fox or whatever away. So you put your thermal imager down, doesn't make a noise. If you didn't know about it, it'd be, oh, fox is gone. So I can drop it on these and it doesn't make a noise. It's absolutely fine. It's also good when we're putting pellets out because if things rattle, you can put your pellets on there and go away. You can load it up doesn't make a noise. Possibly a sign of a misspent youth. Right, let's party like it's 1999 and make this 50th birthday one to remember. I love picking up rats, yeah. I, it's probably one of my favourite hobbies, uh, especially as I'm out here tonight on my birthday with a strange cameraman <laughs> uh, in the dark shooting rats. 
<laughs> Thank you very much. I, I do appreciate it, but not as much as my wife appreciates it. We're going to switch these main lights off now because rats don't like light. Uh, and we'll be filming in the dark, so we'll see how we get on. I just hope I've got the elastic bands around my shoes. Just to keep the rats out. I'm going to put my wellies on them. See how we get on. Let's switch the light off now, mate. It's all right. Lights off, yeah. You were shooting in the dark. Yeah. What, are you scared? No. Get out. <laughs> me. Terrified me. Now we're talking. Paul first scans with the thermal and then finds the rats in the scope. With night shooting, everything has to be second nature and Paul loves the no-fuss, solid build of his air arms. He's 30, about 30 yards. How's that? That's how you kill rats with an air arms S510. That's 30 yards, as you can see. All the things we did back when we were testing the Zero paid off, first shot. There are three things that are essential in my eyes when out shooting. That is the permission you're shooting on, the gun and the flask. If you haven't got a flask, well, there's no point. As the time ticks by, it's becoming clear that the rats have found another party and we haven't been invited. However, the ones we do find, Paul dispatches with impressive shooting. Now, there's a rat there dying in front of them and they're eating a lot. You got that? Three dead rats. I'm pleased with that. That was freehand. Squatting on a dirty barn floor in the middle of the deepest, darkest Shropshire on my 50th birthday. God, I live the life. <laughs> this is rock and roll. My God, that's bigger than the last one, wasn't it? There's a blue splatter from the other one, right? The size of that bad boy. There you go. That was shot at uh, 45 yards. I aim just behind the ear. Yeah, that'll do, won't it? That's what you call accuracy. And anybody who tells you that 177 won't penetrate and kill that, good blood splatter. Absolutely devastating. Man. Now, there is two other dead ones but there is no way on God's earth I'm putting my hand under there to retrieve them because I don't like rats. That's just a natural reaction to being shot in the head. So, Paul, has it been a birthday bonanza or a blowout? Well, we've had an incredibly successful night. Um, we've shot almost half a dozen rats. The Pied Piper of Hamlin. He's <laughs> uh, got nothing on. He's got nothing on David. <laughs> well, we're going to say good night, and David's got about a three and a half hour journey home. So good luck with that, mate. Because I'll be tucked up in bed. If nothing else, Paul has shown huge dedication to the cause, and if you're lucky, you too may be able to spend your 50th birthday in a rat-infested barn, dressed in camo with only raw potatoes to chew on, living the air gunner dream. For more about air arms, go to air-arms.co.uk. Well shot, Paul. Now staying on vermin, it's David with Hot Air Air Gun News. This is Hot Air. Top YouTuber Ted of Ted's Holdover has shown he is as good as people say he is. King Edgun of the Kingdom of Holdover is holding up his check. And yes, that's Matt Dubber of Air Arms hunting South Africa behind him. YouTubers give great coverage of the 2016 Extreme Benchrest Air Gun Shooting Competition in Arizona. This film is from Field Target's channel. 
Staying in the USA and a YouTube video of a man spear hunting a bear may lead to air gun restrictions in Maryland. Josh Bomar's YouTube video in which he showed himself hunting a bear with a spear has inspired state legislators to look at air gun licensing as well as outlawing spear hunting. They plan to restrict air gun hunting of deer to the current rifle season for deer. An investigation by a news website has found serious problems with the Scottish Government's air gun licensing plans. Police Scotland has processed fewer than a fifth of the applications so far, just 418 of the 2,642 applications it had received by the end of August. And no applications for an air gun licence have been refused, a Freedom of Information request reveals. The new legislation comes into force on the 1st of January 2017, and it's estimated that there are about half a million air guns in Scotland. India has banned the sale of air guns except from gun shops. Animal welfare groups tried and failed to obtain an outright ban on air guns. The American military chooses Crosman. The air gun manufacturer has sold 4,600 Challenger air guns to the Army Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps to provide rifle training for cadets. And finally, an Australian teacher who leapt out at children brandishing an air rifle and shouted, time for bed, has been suspended from teaching. In what he now calls a moment of utter stupidity, Peter McKenzie found an air gun on a school camp with nine-year-old students from private Catholic school, St Norbert College in Perth. He ensured it wasn't loaded and then hid in the dark before aiming at them as a prank. You are now to date with Hot Air. Aiming for accuracy, targeting the truth. Thank you, David. Next up, Jamie Chandler is road testing the new BSA Ultra XL in Hampshire. The amazing no-handed shooter Jamie is in the Hampshire countryside and is setting out to do a Churchill. It's a sort of Hampshire air gunner's McNabb, squirrel, pigeon and rabbit all in a day, just like his father did. But do-gooding ramblers have taken down his squirrel feeder and this one is broken, so he says. So let's just go and shoot some rabbits. Someone has a new gun and just wants to try it out, and who wouldn't? Today I'm using the fantastic brand new BSA Ultra XL in 177. Look at it, what a, what a piece of design engineering. It is still everything I love about the Ultra. It's, it's light, it's handleable, it's, it's very quick in the shoulder. But look, adjustable stock, how cool is that? You can literally suit it to come up and fit your face and it is fast it is fast in the shoulder which is exactly what you're looking for the trigger brilliant for me don't know how the rest of you would get on but i can use that like an absolute charm it's so quiet so precise so deadly that it's just an absolute privilege to have it out here this is in 177 interestingly i tend to stick with 2.2 partly because the pellets are a bit fiddly for me partly because i've just always shot with 2.2 so really interested to see how i get on with 177 That's zeroing for you, 30 yards. Some people prefer 35, I'm a 30 yard sort of person. As you can see, two to the right, kind of, then a few clicks left. One, two, three, a few clicks left more. Five, six, seven, eight, that's not too bad, is it? I mean, that's outstanding, really, for 177. Love it, really, really good. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go out rabbit hunting. I've just had a phone call from the farmer saying that I need to go and crack on. They've just um, topped some grass just down there and apparently there's rabbits all over it. All to play for, should be quite a good afternoon. See where we go. Before we head off after the rabbits and uh, with my voice quite lowered, I just wanted to show you this. Most safety switches and most safety catches, you go and flick it, but listen to this. Nothing, not a sound. Isn't that fantastic? Now, I don't know if that was on purpose or by accident, but I'll tell you what, gone is that sort of clunky, barrel moving type moment, just silent, amazing. Feels just been freshly fallowed. We're gonna have to be pretty bloody quiet. Excuse my French. Using all of his well-honed stalking skills and stepping silently like a ninja. Impossible we finally get the spot to show off the Ultra's performance. Look at 
Well, no McChurchill this time, but knowing Jamie, he will be back, maybe next time, with the squirrel feeder instructions. For more information on the BSA Ultra XL, go to bsaguns.co.uk. From Hampshire to the wider world of air gunning on YouTube, it is Air Streaming. Charlie Jacoby here, this is my roundup of the best air gunning on YouTube. Urban Air Gunner gets in touch about his pigeon hunting video where he comes face to face with a wild peregrine and plays with it using his laser sight as well as shooting a pigeon in midair with his SIG MCX. Optical Armoury is off to a horse paddock for vermin control with his John Bowkett tuned BSA R10 Mark I FAC air rifle. American Air Gunner, the show that goes out on Sportsman Channel in the USA, has an active YouTube channel too. This is a rattlesnake hunt. Air Arms has brought out a film montage of its history with some fabulous 1970s style going on at the Sussex-based air gun manufacturer. Koipu Hunter is taking a break from hunting Koipus in France, instead plinking with the Gamo Coyote in 177 at 33 yards. Lots about Day State in this week's air streaming, and his range meets Day State boss Tony Bielis in order to preview the new Day State Tsar FT rifle, a collaboration with top Russian match shooting partnership Ataman Demian. SRS Power reviews the Day State Huntsman Regal in 2-2. He tries it out at different ranges and at live quarry. And finally, Finally, it's shocking lip syncing from Airgun Gear Show and Team Day State at the recent extreme bench rest in Arizona. You have to watch it to enjoy its absolute hilarious awfulness. Good work, men. Links to watch the videos are in this film's description. If you would like to send in a video for air streaming, ping me the link, charlie at fieldsportschannel.tv. Well, that's it for this week. We're back in a few weeks' time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>